okay, let's balance this chemical equation. So you want to start by balancing elements that occur the least amount of times on both sides of the equation. So for example, in magnesium, Mg only occurs twice, once on each side. So let's balance that. We've got three on the left. So but three on the right. Okay, also what you wanna do is treat groups of elements as one unit as much as you can. For example, SO4, instead of splitting this up into one sulfur and four oxygens, just balance the SO4s on each side. Okay, so we've got one SO4 on the left and four SO4s on the right, you see? Can we use that trick with NH4? No, because there's no NH4s on the on the left. So we, we're gonna have to split the NH4 into nitrogen and hydrogens. Okay, so we know our magnesiums are balanced. We know the SO4s are balanced. So let's look at nitrogen. We've got two nitrogens on the left, two nitrogens on the right. So now it's just hot, all that's left is hydrogen. We've got eight hydrogens on the left, eight hydrogens on the right. So we're done, that's it. There's your balanced equation.